Nothing like life of decadence. Slushy in one hand, ice cream in the other. <laughs> you alright there? <laughs> Lily trying to ponce. Are you, you, you chilled in, your, in his pants? Are you chilled in your orange pants? So you don't go fly. You look like a life, one of those life boy things. If you floated off out there. Nature's having one as well. Don't just rinse me for 15 quid. Um. Mind you, to be fair, Hazel spent a load of money on they kids this morning, earlier. so... Kids, so expensive! No. Oh, do you know what? I could never get bored of this view. Could you? I could never get bored with it. Could you get bored with it? Apart from oh. scaffolding. Yeah, not that you can, <laughs> they're doing the place up, aren't they? Yeah. They're gutting it and redoing it, so... It's very nice inside. Could you? Sorry? It looks very nice inside. Are you chilling in your sunglasses like a playgirl? Sunglasses with a coat on. <laughs> like you're some old. sort of celebrity hiding from the uh, the minions there. on the Not beach. Really, the yeah, where, there's the sun there. Look. There you go. Dappling the sea as we speak. It's very beautiful. So I saw Fox was out here this morning with a kite. But I didn't get the opportunity to video him because I was uploading. He'll use it for 30 seconds and then he'll get abandoned like everything else does. No, no, I'll fly it. Uh, did he get 30 back? seconds ago. Well, you bought him an aeroplane this morning, didn't you? Like, pull a yeah. in an aeroplane. Yeah. Great big thing yeah. for a fiver. Yeah. How Got long did he have it? A minute? Two minutes? Well, you threw it a couple of times. Well, yeah, I threw it a couple of times, but who broke it? Fox. How? I've no idea. Scrambling up that hill there, and he had it underneath. He had it in his little wet, soggy, sweaty little hand. Chocolate-covered hands. Ice cream and chocolate cover. <laughs> and he scrambled up there, and then all of a sudden, snap. He leant on it. Leaned on it. And, uh, that's the end of that. So he now convinced me to buy him another one. So you went across the thing this morning, didn't you, to buy him? Did you have any intention of buying them something? No. Well, we went round. We went round there because they wanted to build sand castles. And to be fair, if all the beach toys, all the sand toys that we've got with us, there is not a bucket. There's other things to build sand castles with, like little, like moulds and stuff. But there's no bucket. So we went round there to get a bucket. Which then turned turned into a bucket each, and then Fox said, "Willow's got a kite in the car. Can I have a kite?" <laughs> and then Willow said, "Oh, there's some flip flops there. Can I get there?" And, and, then, then? and then I said to Fox, "Well, let's get you some shoes as well for going in the sea and running around on the beach in." And then those neoprene things. Yeah. And then they saw a replacement of that whistly throwy thing that we think someone walked off with. Yeah, although it was broken and knackered to be fair. No, it wasn't though, was it? It still whistled. They enjoyed well, it, it was, but the, the sail, the, what, the fins on it were a bit busted. Yeah, go on. Well, they're busted on that one now, aren't they? Because before we got it out of the wrapper, Fox had broken it. In a temper well, because he got annoyed with Willow wind him up, so we <laughs> broke her toy because yeah. he laughed at him breaking his plane. Yeah. Anyway, go on. Yeah, so we got one of them and then, oh, and then they saw some skull moulds for the sand. They oh, they're pretty cool. Each. They are cool. They're they were, cool. They were a been. pound each. That wasn't too bad. No. And then you, he, then he saw some more sand things, didn't he? Like sand, um, what do you call them? That was in place of a bucket. Right. He put his bucket back uh, and, and got those And instead. what else? And that, that was it, I think. And, then, Just all and how much things. was that? 43 pounds. 43 quid. Just and like that. then, two I'll of tell you. Two are already broken and the kite doesn't even bloody fly. Yeah, two of them are broken. Yeah. Which ones are broken? Well, the one that uh, Fox broke. The, yeah, and what, what and else the other broken? one that Fox broke. I oh, know you mended it, didn't you? I think, well, yeah. And what, the guy didn't fly? I thought it was fine, okay, this morning. No, it hasn't got a tail on it, it's a bit shit. So it's poo? Yeah. Right, okay. For a five, So you then... Have we still got that kite? Yeah, yeah we've got a kite in Portland. It's like a pirate a skull, wasn't it? A fiver. Yeah, Apparently, this seven quid for this bloody kite. It's a plastic thing. It wasn't even, like, made out of material. It's made out of this, like, thin plastic yeah. with a dolphin on it. I did ask, uh, perhaps they bought it on porpoise, but <laughs> no, no, nobody laughed. Um, so anyway, after they sort of right royally screwed you over for 40, uh, 43 quid, they then kept on at me about, well, they actually started on Hazel, about uh, you promised us an ice cream yeah, and you promised us... Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, stupidly, I gave Hazel my card and said, just get him an ice cream and get him a slushy. She did promise to him. So she went and got, but she got herself one. 
out of my money. Made a massive difference, to be honest. And how much did that cost us? Fifteen pounds. It didn't cost us anything. It cost you fifteen, 15 quid. Pounds. So forty-three and fifteen is what? Fifty-five, fifty-eight quid. Fifty-eight quid. We haven't even left the house today. You couldn't make this crap up, could you? And then, and then, then, what does Willow want for tea? She wants fish and chips from the nice fish and chip shop. So at least. Me and Hazel are just eating, eating what we've got here because we're aware quid. that it's so expensive. 70 quid spent on a day when we were going to stay here and not spend any money. 70 quid, yeah. We thought we'd stay. It's cheaper to go out. It's cheaper to it's go cheaper out. for us to go out than it is to stay here with the kids. Although they've got everything. Because there. invariably they get. They have. Look, they had everything. Anyone join? They've got everything now. They had everything anyway. They've got everything now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, what are you going to do? Kids, eh? Oh, no. And we've got really peed off with people strolling across our property. Yeah. 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 We glared at them and totted. I did at one point shout out, I was going to shout, Get off my beach! Get off beach! But I didn't. <clears throat> See what I did there? Yeah. Get off my beach, you beach. Yeah. Willow's going to write a paper sign apparently into people that we haven't got. Well, that won't blow we'll away, will it? it? We'll buy us some paper. Yeah, we'll spend 100 quid on some paper. Yeah. 20 quid on pens and pencil. And on top of that, bloody Christmas lists are coming at us from left, right, and centre. Oh, nobody ever told me kids would be this expensive. I think I might have into, intimated towards it, but she never actually outright said it. Warn you. Like, obviously, they should have, come like cigarette packets with a because, warning. <laughs> but because like, people that you know have kids just on their own with no help at all, that's fine. You know, you've got yourself into this mess. People who've had to pay to have their children with the help of the NHS and private fertility clinics, the mattress label, right? Yeah. Um, they should get you in a room when they give when they give you the inject when they give you the little hint of how to do the injections and stuff. Yeah. They should say to you, "How much are you budgeting for Christmas each year?" Because you need to budget at least three times what you think you do. Yeah. It is true. It is and that true. will be every single year, and it will get more it expensive. Yeah, it won't. Uh, worry about that. Those two women, they watch and uh, you know what? I'm marking all this down because if I have to go into a home at any point. Them little sods better start paying for it because it's going to be daddy's payback time then. Um, well, that's true. That's true. Yeah, like we do. <laughs> we don't, mum. Love you. Not me, I'm self sustaining. You're worse than me. I am worse than Hazel, actually. Right, I think we're bored now. I'm going to stop that conversation before Hazel gets too far with it. and starts, It starts getting into slappy, slappy fight. <laughs> scratchy, scratchy. So, um, yeah, speak in a bit. Yeah, Hazel said, there's that kite that Hazel said didn't fly. Look at it, it's doing very well. And Fox is obviously attached to it. Don't take off, Fox! He's done very well with that. Seven quid though, an awful lot of money for that. A bit of plastic, but you know what? He's having a lot of fun with it. You can't buy a seven pounds worth of happiness. Well, clearly, you can. Look at that, it's freezing cold. He's out there in his orange pants. There was a little kid up there earlier, you could just about to see the dog. They had no clothes on, did they? And he was just running into the into the sea. His mum was with him, clearly. How old he was? Four or five? Only, only young, only a little. Yeah, and it's bitterly, it's quite, it's quite cold, isn't it? Not bitterly cold, but it's cold, isn't it? Yeah. Nice kite flying, young fox. That is true. Look at that, fox! And the dad's got nothing on, and she was come back with a barrage of stuff, wasn't she? He did. He did. No, look at that. Can you see the little notches on the handle? You can put the strings, don't do that. You can put the string through one of them and that will stop it getting longer. Can you see the little notches that I mean? That's it. Got it? Good boy, good lad. He's doing a sterling job with that. Whoa!
chilling there. I don't know where Sky is. Lily, where's Sky? Lily, where's your sister? Earth to Lily. Earth to Lily. Where's your sister, Lil? No? Ignorant, that's what she is. Ignorant. Bless her. She's having a lovely holiday. As is Sky. Well, it's been quite nice today. We've not sort of ventured out. Well, Hazel and the kids did, but only just across the road into the ice cream. Hello. Hello. So the ice cream, what would you call it? Like a, no, it's like a little arcade up there. And there's like an ice cream um, place in there where they got, uh, where they ro right royally rinsed me, as you know. Um, so, yeah, and the poor old Hazel got rinsed as well. Kids, terrible. So we've just relaxed day, really. We've sort of chilled around the house. Um, put dinner on, done a bit of hoovering, cleaned a few bits up, and just went outside and sat on the... And I got in you went into the sea with your friend, didn't you? Yeah. And now all your clothes are out there on that balcony. I saw a wild wooden tea fishes. You saw what, sorry? I saw a wild and two fishes. A wild and two fishes you yeah, saw? I think the fish might have been a stone, because it was white. Okay, what about the whale? Do you think that might have been a little stone as well? It looked a bit grey. And it looked a bit grey, okay. It looked big and a bit grey. Okay, fair enough. So, he clearly seen a whale and two fishes that could have been stones. But, um, yeah, we, we've just sort of potted around the house, it really. and like chipped. one fish. One fish, okay. I thought it was a fish. Oh, okay, fine. It could be, perhaps it was way, perhaps it was poking it and move you out of the way. It could have been a stone. Could have been a stone. It could very well have been a stone. Anyway. That was It was. Anyway. We just sort of chilled and relaxed down. It's been very nice. We sat out there on the porch bit, on that veranda bit, and just... Um, it was chilly, and it was a little bit, I will, I'm not going to lie, it was a bit damp at times. It did start to drizzle a bit. Not rain, but drizzle. And everybody made a beeline for the car park. It was quite funny watching them all sort of hurrying back to the car park, and it created a little bit of a bottleneck. I know. Created a bit of a bottleneck up here. So that was quite funny. Um, but it's quite nice just to sit there and people watch, really. I do like watching people. I find it very interesting. But I felt a little bit like we were on show, really, because obviously you can see where we are in relation to the beach. So there's only, what, five houses here. And, of course, when you sit out there, you become a little bit of um, a novelty oh, to people that are out on the beach. But it was all right. Fox made friends with the young boys next door. So that's good. And um, what else have we done? That's it, really. It we just chilled. Two doors away, exactly. Yeah. Two doors. I stand or sit correctly, I should say. But I'm hiding under the stairs. This is my go-to safe place, or safe space, I think they call it now. And this is where I go to. This is where I sit down, and this is my cosy spot, my hiding spot, to sit here and read books and watch YouTube and do all that sort of stuff. And that's it, really. Pretty, But, yeah. Anyway, um, just to let you know, we're, we've got another couple of days left, and then we're on our way home. Two days. Two days, that's a couple, isn't it? What's the last time in my book when I looked? Don't know. I don't, don't know. know, don't know. You do know. You do you know very well, don't you? I don't know how much a couple of days is or a couple Well, you do now, it's two. A couple is two and a few is three. I've been in year one for a quarter year, that's Yeah, I know, that's a while, isn't it? Year one and a quarter you've been in year one for a quarter year. Right, okay, so I'm going to love you and leave you, speak to you soon, and uh, see you in the next vlog. Bye.